This is the four-wheel drive unit out of my 2014 XP1000. Uh, I lost four-wheel drive and for the life of me I looked through uh, YouTube and was unable to get an answer to a question so I'm going to make a little short video in case anybody else has the same problem. There was a lot of good videos on the actual gear case and how it works and how this, the uh, armature and the sprag and all this work so I appreciate that my problem was I kept feeling like the armature wasn't getting energized strong enough to make these axles spin every time I put it back together and I energized the magnet with 12 volts from this battery charger and I would spin the pinion, the axles wouldn't lock up. But if I was to do it now, I can't because of holding the phone. But if I was to spin this, hold this off to the side with the tension that the magnet uh, applies on the sprag, this should start spinning. And that wasn't happening. So I took a chance and I bought another side cover and it was actually that. So I wanted to show the difference of what a the, the magnet pull on one that's good and one that's bad. This is my old one. This is my good one. The new one I just got. Oddly enough, the book says that this should be ohms 21 to 27. And they're both testing good. So on my meter here, go to the ohm scale. This is what the bad one is reading. But according to the book, it's good. And then if we switch over to the other one, I already wired it up here. So now here's the good one. And it takes us a second to hit it, but there we go. So it's also within the parameters that the book is saying. So I was really perplexed, but once you energize the magnet you could see the difference so i got uh the battery charger down here i'll show you what it looks like this is uh the bad one this is the good one so i'm gonna take these alligator clips put them on this battery charger so the battery charger is going to make a little bit of noise, but this is what the good one looks like. So this is the magnet being energized, this armature being energized. I can lift it off like that pretty easily. But what the magnet really does is this sideways motion this way. So when it's centered up on the magnet, it's very difficult to spin this and that's what's happening when it's working the magnet is drawing to this armature plate creating the tension that turns this a little sideways that then locks the sprag so your four-wheel drive works all right so one more time this is the good one so I can't even spin that so now I'll switch over to the other one. All right, so we'll turn this back on. So here's the bad one. So I, once again, I can lift it off, but, but I can spin this one. So I was very confused because the book and the readings, it passed all the tests that say that it's good, but yet I didn't know how strong this magnet's supposed to be. And clearly I can spin this one, and this one, I can barely spin it without my fingers cutting. And when I put it all back together, I'll stop this and uh, quickly show that what, uh, what it looks like and what I was having the problem with. Um, so when I put the good one back on here and I energize it, I turn this and these rotate. So I'll show you that right after I... Put it back together all right so continuing where i left off 
I put the good side cover back on. I just put a couple bolts hand tight. So when it's not in, when the magnet's not engaged and you're not running four wheel drive, the pinion is always rotating here with the drive shaft, but the axle's not spinning. As soon as you throw the switch, this gets energized, the magnet gets energized, pulls the armature, locks, and this should start rotating. The old one, even though it locked and seemed like it's working, every time I spun this with it energized, this would not rotate. This is what you're actually looking for. I'm gonna turn the power back on, rotate this. Now it's got a lot of resistance while I'm turning this, and you can see the actual shaft is rotating. Both sides are rotating, I just can't show the other side. But that's what the magnet's supposed to look like. That's how it's supposed to work. That'd probably be an additional bench test might be worth doing just to make sure your magnet's good before you put the whole thing back in your vehicle and realize the magnet on your side case might not be working. So turn it off, spins real free. This is uh, not rotating. Back on. Very difficult to turn. Axles engage. Hope this helps somebody. Um, it was a video I was looking for, so I just throwing it out there in case uh, somebody else needs the same information and it is helpful to them. Have a good day. God bless.